AGP of Ghana do not say anything. Are you just saying? Commercial intelligence. They shot and killed seven Zongo youth. Make sure all those people who shot and killed the Muslims and the Zongo community are dealt with. Where Abdul Hakim recently shot by a what? A police in Tamale. Police commander do could lie. Mind away from here in such a gory manner. Gave me family and friends to come straight with me. I'm grateful to all who support. Can the IGP of Ghana, Dampari, or any government appointee in Ghana, or anybody in Ghana, answer these three questions or four questions? We need an evidence. If you can provide me with this evidence, that means you are a real. Number one, can you provide me with an evidence of any arm, any bullet, any gun, anything where the Savin Zongo guys who got shot, they were old. They don't have no, they were on arm. Those Savin Zongo guys who were shot, the Ejura killing. Can you provide one single evidence where anyone from the what the riots in Ejra, those who got shot or those who were shot by the security personnel, they were having even one single armor. There wasn't something like that. That is number three. You can have no evidence that they have what any gun on them. Number four, can you provide one evidence where Abdul Hakim recently shot? By a what? A police in Tamale. He doesn't have nothing with him. Can you provide those evidence? Go to Ejra. The guy, uh, Mohammed Awal. The answer was Ejra now. They have to arrest the, the what? The security forces who shot and killed those people. Who shot the what? The young Mohammed Awal. Now he doesn't have no legs. But the amount of compensation here. But this is the main reason why. You see, all my boys in Zongo community, I've been telling them, whenever a police officer comes to a place, in a place of either demonstration or riot, they shouldn't even go there. Because in Ghana here, there has never been a justice to a watch. Any Zongo Muslims who has been shot by a police forces or any army or, let's say, security forces. I saw what happened during the Zongo 7. And even the police officers, some of them lie and put a gun in front of them. And later on, when they set up the committee, it was a lie. We saw what happened at Kumasi Cemetery, where a police officer shot and killed Amisu. Nothing happened. We saw what happened at uh, Konfanochi Teaching Hospital, when the baby of Sueba was stolen. And this is recently what happened in Ejra. Yeah. Wow, some video was way in a moon in a room. Saddam Pari, any the coming your friend say, Why do you call it the Sa Atoni General? Omu in a Omu Kanukre, Omu a jet. Womu a Yakukumu, Zongo Sabin, Yakumu, the other than a mere police for now, Womu, Womuahi, Yaku Amisu, our Kumasi Cemetery, Tafo, twenty, that was twenty fifteen. Oh, police now Kun no way. Yaku, your friend is Ami du Malanga, police no way, Womuahi. Yaku Afani, I Afani say, out the ninja mo, or more police now come on or more. Eh, yes, I'll come. Your friend is what you call it a dra killing me. Yaku, you shoot two among for a dra or more. A police for a mushu to no more. During the election 2020, Yaku come among for baby. I will hear for or more. No more baby. Now say, I will go to Kumasi. Yakum boy, I will go home. Police for no one. Na say I'll cut a mali. Yeah, shoot two be a honey musa. Sue ba baby. Yeah, we are no. Way na kikahu. Se mejo mahama di yamuya yeno. E ya pamaya di ye. Ah, ma chua mwa mudu mwa kwa yeno. The way you did to mejo mahama. I didn't think a mwenye sa ma zongo for nibi. Ah, mwuku kwa mwono. Why? Because the zongo people are not only any important. Omo di fi wano ensem. Ano pa vayana mwa kini fa. Na yina for this year. If we must open up, this is commander said, or the prayer police command. Sir, I am Robert, I am Taki, Peter Bass. Oh, fire, yes, you are fire. Because of that, 
and I overpower to the person and the free. They are starting with investigations. Okay, so I don't talk about the phone. Say, I'm going to show you a post for now. So, say, I'm going to be a good one. You are a good one. I'm going to be 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 a good one. Usha, Satam na. Zango Sabin yoku wa mono. E yi, e fani sayi. Duku, police commander Duku. Ebe din tura sayi. Omu ye, Ami Robes. Na mom, e yi ni ba ye no. Pepa ane ba ye no kwe ye investigation no. O din tura. De ba de, na Ghana police. De ba de ne ye no. Ye nye ni shi. Until se, wo reta ye. Then he goes got free. And the IGP of Ghana do not say anything. He rather go to the social media. He rather go to the social media as if he's working. That is, I don't see the work. I don't see that. You can kill all of us, but you cannot kill the truth. There is no amount of lies that can defeat one single truth. And be many people. Oh, no, but... to the classroom go sit there and work properly according to whatever you say you are going to do not on social media what people will be seeing each and every day that one is a social media show or some people may call you a facebook fame or a facebook blogger put the camera down get the paper and pen put people's in court make sure all those people who shot and killed the muslims and the zongo community are dealt with and some but the police shot him. Most of these police officers are unprofessional. They are not qualified to be police officers. Because the only thing they know to put the trigger out and start shooting. Because they are not properly trained. Maybe two weeks or one month or three month training. Who are those who are training them? The, we need to have a strategic way of what? Uh, employing a security personnel to see their psychologically sound mind, to see their eye vision, to teach them, to teach them how to control a crowd. Not everywhere you need to fire a firearm. And the idea is that they can't do it. They can't do it, but they can't catch them. IGP will be answered. Atoni jerila, obi ansro, yebe kanu kure na achiramo. Namo di asuye nyansa, di emuye, edi ma zongo foni musim foni nye. We will always remember this, regardless of whatever you think about us. Say, okay, we don't care, you do, you can't do foco to anybody. And start talking to these police officers. We will not sit in this country for them to be killing all our kids. We will not tolerate that. The IGP need to put his... Hey, need your boss... Yesterday's shooting at the Islamic Secondary School in Kumasi. The speaker, for some time now, they started firing tear gas and live ammunition to the speaker. And the speaker, they chased all the students into the dormitory and into the classrooms. We are all witness to this. Enough is enough. We are tired. We need justice. You have to listen to our call. We just wanted to do demonstration. We didn't harm anyone. And look at what the police did to us. Is this what we call justice? No. If you cannot do justice to us, you are not also going to allow. We are giving. Assalamu alaikum community in Ghana or every culture does that. But look at what happened during the seven the Zongo seven killing. 
in Ghana, in commercial centre. They shot and killed seven Zongo youth. And some of the police officers lied to the media that these people were army robbers. When the committee was set up, none of them were army robbers. Look at what just happened in Ejra. They came and shoot people. And now... Some videos now, Mushi Mushi, now where all videos are me, me, they my year be brave, we're gonna make us a I'm always doing this to save it, to keep it for future use. Our future generation will see it on YouTube, they will see it on anywhere because it's always in there. And to be busy about me, they pay me their charm for the movie or Ghana. Yeah, now you're the more than a number, yeah, now you're not a Ghana for so we'll be cool, we'll be net me sentence for more, which is good thing you did. Do the same thing to the Muslims and the Zongos. Why don't you do that? And it's, you know, that means uh, IGP them party a uh, hypocrite. That means the Attorney General no uh, also a uh, hypocrite. The government of Ghana a uh, hypocrite. Where are the Muslim politicians? Where are they? Yen Kanukre. Ghana IGP, Mr. Dampari. So Mr. Dampari, sometimes people see you, you go here frying Kalawali. You go here doing this. It is a good thing you are doing. But don't set up a bad image for yourself. Don't set up. If you want to support the people, try your best to do the job and get a good name. When you die, people will praise you. God will bless you. So, Mr. Dampari, I can say we blame you more things happen in the Muslim community or the Zongo or the police brutality in Ghana. Those seven Zongo guys who were shot by the security forces in Ghana, by the police, under the what? Police Commander Duku, who is retired now. He lied on the media. We have the videos. Police Commander Duku lied that these are army robbers. And he brought a what? A fake gun, sat it in front of him. And they took a video and everything on the media. Did you see that? Later on, after the investigation, what happened? After the committee investigation, it is a lie. So that means those seven Zongo seven guys who got shot and killed by the police police personnel in Ashanti region were unarmed. They lied to the people. What happened to those police officers? Nothing. This police personnel or security personnel are unprofessional. Look at what just happened a few days ago at where? In Tamale. Larshegu, where a police officer chased a DV plate number. After chasing the DV plate number, he ran to a chief house. And then after that, what happened? They went to the chief house and shot him. Everyone saw what happened. Look at Abdul Hakim, who is a very young JHS student. When the bullet went to him, they killed him in Tamale. So police commander or IGP, Dampari, you need to set up and look at the police forces, the police school. These people, most of them are unprofessional. The IGP of Ghana do not say anything. He rather go to the social media. He rather go to the social media as if he's working. That is, I don't see the work. I don't see that. You can kill all of us, but you cannot kill the truth. There is no amount of lies that can defeat one single truth. And be many people, or oh, nobody want to talk. Nobody, everybody is scared of the government to talk, I will arrest you. You to talk, people arrest you. Me, I don't want anybody to arrest me. Just call me at the police station, I will come. I didn't do anything bad. But we are telling you the truth. If some of the Zambo or the Muslims of community scared to tell you, for me, I will tell you the truth. Na sanya uko share the SC e wo Kumasi e senior high school Islamic senior high school de ba de na see nothing you saw what is going on nothing every day be ejra ejra killing eh and your composition na di ma mo sika eh na di ma mo mejo ma ma ya ya chi o ma e di okum ya ma ma o ma mi sika na ya sai den ya sai chi o mo so if you do this to this do the same thing to this and ti de e ka ni de e ka no kure so this is what happened at that time. The Zongo seven when they when they shot and killed them, they only compensate them. Why, where are those police officers who shot and killed them? Where are they? Compensation alone is nothing. This is the demonstration we did back in that day in New York City. That was in 2018. We did that at the Ghana Embassy in New York City.
So where are those police officers who shot and killed them? Like the way you did justice to my, uh, Major Muhammad, do the same thing. This is Nana Kufa Ado. When I met him at the what in Kumasi on this issue of Zongo serving uh, Mustafa Amid, and then is the Zongo Ministry Mustafa Amid. We talk about it. These are the Zongo serving that they were all killed and shot. Where are the justice? This is Nana Kufa Ado. I talked to him on this issue. We have many problems on this issue with them. This is uh, the the police officer Duku who did that lie. What happened to him? Nothing happened to him. So if you do justice to Major Mahama, do the same thing to the Zongo Seven. You kill them for nothing. You lie. The Muslims in Ghana never had no any justice from the world, from the government of Ghana. Nothing. These are those of them. Daily News posted everything. We all know what is going on. This is the Edra shooting. They shoot and kill them in Edra. Where are those police officers who shot and killed them? This is Amiswa. I visited them. They, they what? They amputated his leg. By later on, they compensated them and compensated him. Compensating alone cannot do nothing without justice. You compensated the parent of uh, Major Mahama. You also what? Arrested them and what? And sentenced them. Do the same thing to the Edra and the Muslims of Ghana. You, 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 this is not justice. This is Islamic school. When that happened in Ashanti region, look at how the police officers tear gas them because of the road, the bad road that they were demonstrating. And later on, the IGP put this garbage there that it is the ramp. And I came to Kumasi and talk about it. And then later on, the IGP were able to fix the what the ramp, and he did it. This is all what we've been do we've been talking about. We all need justice. Look at the police officers who came to the what? The Kumasi, Kumasi Senior High School, uh, Islamic Senior High School. They were taking selfies and even laughing to the Muslims. They were taking selfies. Look at him. They were taking selfies. We have all these evidences. We're going to put them on the social media. We put them on the YouTube and everywhere. Even without, we, if we, we, our future generation will see what is going on in Ghana. Look at recently, this boy was shot in Kumasi at Goro. What happened to the police officer? This was also shot in what? Tamale. What happened to those police officers? And Amis was shot in Ashanti region. What happened to Amisu? Those who killed him at the Kumasi cemetery. Now the Major Mahama were even happy. They went to the attorney general place to thank him, which is good. There's no bad about it. They, they, they did a very great job on the Major Mahama, but do the same thing to what? To the Muslims and the Zongo community too. Look at the parent of Major Mahama and Attorney General. He's the I think that we just must all have the spirit of tolerance. Indeed, um, all Muslims who attend Christian schools, as far as I'm concerned, must observe the basic or institutionalized mm. rules and regulations no. in the school, mm. Re attending Sunday service mm. and all. But that must also not derogate from them their right to also practice mm. and observe their faith yeah. in the manner and joy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Azumi ya kaya azumi insalla ya kuma abashi dama ya insalla sa wanambi kamata hana ya roba ina so mufahimchi ira wana ama zaman muduka munang muna zaman nang zaman takiwa ni na mikew da hankuli da jimiri da juna so I'll end by saying to Chief Umam that I am his son continue to be his son and after watching this video the attorney general this message goes to you directly I am asking you, you say on that video that if the Muslim student goes to the Christian student interfaith, right? Then during the worship time, is it Sunday or Saturday church, the Muslim student, that is the to you, it's a basic, it is okay for the Muslim student to attend. To the churches okay i don't have no problem my problem to to you is the attorney general my question to you is will you also say back to we the muslims that 
if the Christians, also those who are attending the Muslim schools, we have so many Islamic schools where Christians also attend. But we the Muslims, we don't force them to go to the mosque for five daily prayers. We don't force them to go to the Eid. We don't force them on Friday prayers. We don't force them to read Quran and Hadith. So if you said the Muslim kids will also go to the basic churches, basic church services, I am asking you a question. Those Christians who are going to the Muslim schools, will they also 